Good Monday afternoon in the four o'clock hour. Our weather is pretty quiet today and we are seasonably cool in the near 50 degree range for many locations. Notice that we've had an increase in those high clouds drifting over the valley into the afternoon as well. Here's the latest readings from Hector. It's 51. It's one degree warmer at Moorheads Airport. Right now our wind is pretty quiet at 17 miles per hour sustained from the southeast. It's going to get gusty. We are very dry with dew points down near 30 degrees, so we could be on our way to another cold one tonight, but there are some things that are going to mix together to keep things a little milder during those overnight hours. So where it was 22 this morning in Bemidji right now, you are at 48, 48 as well in Bedette and a degree warmer than that in Devil's Lake Grand Forks right now 52 Jamestown. How about 50 degrees as we are enjoying some sunshine and quiet weather. Now here is the uh, ever so popular bomb cyclone working its way up on the uh, west coast of the United States. Those are a little more typical on the east coast. We do have a lot of rain spreading from California straight up into western Montana. We find ourselves between systems so we have that increase in high clouds from the west and here's the big storm system bringing all the rain to the Great Lakes region, particularly the, the eastern Great Lakes. For us, our wind is quiet. The clouds will be on the increase, the high variety that is, this evening. Temperatures, because of the clouds and the breeze, will really be pretty steady. Now overnight, you see the yellow arrows on Hutch's weather map. Those are the gusty ones, and we'll see gusts in the morning over 30 miles per hour, mainly in the valley and points west. Those winds and the high clouds will combine to keep things milder. We're talking a near 40 degree start here, and as opposed to low 20s in Bemidji, I expect low to mid 30s for you in Bedette this morning, or tomorrow morning, I should say, on your Tuesday. Tuesday doesn't look toasty though, and the gusty winds pick up even more, spreading into Minnesota with gusts to 30 miles per hour, where you see the bright yellows there. We have some 45 mile per hour gusts here in the Southern Valley, the James River Valley, the Devil's Lake Basin will have the windiest of conditions. Temperatures once again will be in the 50s for most areas as we go through the afternoon, but you will have to hold on to the small dogs and maybe even put rocks in the pockets of those lightweight kiddos out there as it's going to uh, really be gusty. Now, as we head into the night hours, there'll be a chance of some showers out west after dinner that James River Valley could see some sprinkles while stormy weather will move into the central plains. Our best chance of rain Wednesday. We'll talk more about that in a second. For now, 40 to start. We'll warm it up into the mid 50s at best. It does look gusty with winds over 45 miles per hour in Fargo. So hold on to your trash cans. Here's a look at some well, more work getting done out in the fields. This is Ypsilanti there in Stutzman County. Gorgeous photo and thank you for all of your uploads. There's your chance of rain. It's pretty good, over 50% for some of our area. We'll see showers of rain as opposed to white snow on your Wednesday. Now, as we head toward the weekend for you trick-or-treaters, it doesn't look too spooky, but it looks breezy. So once again, you know, tie your trick-or-treaters down and hold on to them because we're going to have some windy weather over the next few days. It does not look warm for Halloween. Uh, you know, it's not a terrible idea. It could go with the costume, right? Right. Well, you can yeah. incorporate Get that. Get creative. Absolutely. <laughs>